My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D. Birthday, 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, etc., etc. You could have ate healthy, you chose not to. Do you really need to go on vacation? You buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hello! Grüße aus Deutschland, greetings from Germany. And there it is, folks. Did we not call it? Did we call it or did we call it? We all knew that weight loss surgery wasn't going to happen for the girl that's been stringing along her viewers on her supposed weight loss journey for nine years while she packed on 250 pounds. My faith in the doctors in Kentucky is restored because uh, of today's video. Admittedly, I've already watched it this morning before work, but I'm reacting to it now because I can't pass this one up, right? So uh, since December, she's been again clickbaiting her imagined weight loss surgery journey, telling all kinds of lies about how she m miraculously healed all of her problems regarding her relationship with food, and we all saw it coming. Amber could not drag out her clickbaiting spree anymore. She had to come clean. But hey, I'm getting ahead of myself. And so let's just get into the video. This one I'm actually looking forward to uh, because I, well, I don't hate to be right, but uh, I hate to say, told you guys. And so here it is. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So uh, she sounds rather chipper and she looks kind of big and I'm not saying to they're saying that to fat shame her uh, but because it's pretty apparent that she still doesn't take weight loss without even the surgery on the horizon seriously. So oh, I know that I have not been uploading much. I have not been vlogging. Nothing like that. I just mental moments, okay? Yeah, uh, and again, uh, uh, people in the future when she's trying to find a real job in the real world are going to watch this and they're going to see how many mental health days she takes. Working on myself moments and YouTube has always been a priority for me. I kind of talked about this in my last video. Yeah, and you were wrong then because it was never your number one priority. It was in terms of uh, totally ignoring when people didn't want to be filmed by you, especially minors or uh, spouses that clearly told you that they don't want to be filmed and you still filmed them. Um, and uh, so in terms of that, in terms of wanting to rake in the money, YouTube was uh, number one, but in terms of putting effort into it, into editing, into learning new video editing skills uh, or whatever, um, YouTube was never your number one priority, never. Mm -mm. Where I would come on YouTube even when I literally just felt like I couldn't even crawl out of bed to breathe. I love how she wants credit for that now when for years on end she could, did not find it necessary to put herself together, not even to film videos that she wanted to make money off of. You know, and now she's trying to get credit for that. Like, I still came on camera for you guys. You never did it for the viewers. You always did it for the money. And it came clear in every single video. I couldn't even crawl out of bed to brush my teeth. And I would still be on YouTube and I would just look miserable. Yeah, but it was because you needed the money to buy the food to overeat on the daily. That's why you showed up. Not because you have so much self-control. You guys have seen me look pretty miserable. It's those times where I didn't choose myself. And I finally said, you know what? I am choosing myself and I'm not going to be on camera when I literally don't even know how to function as an adult. No, she's talking to uh, the audience that knows that she spent most of her money on food. 
to gain over 250 pounds in a time frame of nine years right she's the the bs level is is high on this one no. i hit a little low um i got some bad news has been some things i guess she stepped on the scale kind of surfacing in my brain and things that i have to like absorb and process myself and then i got some bad news with my last dietitian visit and um this is a video just like updates and such um my weight loss surgery updates and it's super windy so if you hear the wind who cares and if you hear some whistling that's what that is because i have six windows in front of me right now so first things first i want to share with you guys these new vitamins that i started taking because at the weight loss clinic that i went to they give you like this huge big pamphlet like it's like this thick and then there's like 80 plus pages 80 plus pages and it's this thick holy smokes <laughs> and she must be completely detached from reality by now and it's just tons of information and they recommend certain vitamins and i'm i don't have them with me physically they're in the office because that's where i take them every single day and you can't be bothered to get up and get them right now or uh edit in a clip where you show them there no just 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 rest you know get your rest just sit there and talk about it um but i will just post a picture here on the screen of a screenshot of the uh, vitamins. It is a live women's ultra potency complete multivitamin. So I just want to let you guys know that I have been taking those for a little bit and I already feel them like doing their thing. I do have- it, it would be interesting to, to hear what you mean by that, what the effect is on you, how, how you feel they're helping you, what has improved. That would be something interesting to talk about and not always being vague and throwing around, you know, things that cannot be proven and with your history of lying, you know, it's kind of senseless to listen to it. I have weird medicine, anxiety, and... And, and that is weird. I thought about it this morning when I first uh, watched this video because she puts in her body so much junk food and sugar and salt laden foods and she overeats on it too. That doesn't bother her. That doesn't give her anxiety, but taking medication does. I wonder how the brain works there. It would be interesting to know, you know, the psychological uh, aspects of what is causing that. I mean, somebody that stuffs their face all day long with junk food but then has a problem taking medication that might help the body. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Um, I was fine with taking Delta 8, but then I get uh, like scared to take vitamins. It's weird, I know. So uh, yeah, it's, it's weird that you don't mention all the food that you've been, you know, stuffing down your gullet. Oh, keep going. I was holding on to these vitamins for a little bit, folks. Um, I got them off of Amazon. And I was holding on to them. I was nervous to take them because like there's been things where you can like overdose on vitamins without even trying and I'm just like I'm scared. I just get really scared with medicine really easily. It's very much trauma based but I'm taking the vitamins and I'm doing my damn thing. Trauma based so I'm guessing it's because of her drug addicted mother and so when you see your mother popping pills then you don't want to take pills uh, but ruining your body and expanding it to a degree where it's life-threatening that you don't have a problem with so i have gotten questions i'm not wearing my fitbit right now because it is charging i have gotten questions though about like how are you getting your steps in because i tell you guys that just who's asking that we all know that she's not getting her steps in at all it's naturally around my apartment or like going shopping whatever Going shopping, did she not say they're only ordering the food so that she doesn't get tempted? Dude, that girl, I hope she still has some of her hundreds of notebooks laying around somewhere because she really needs to start writing down her lies so that she can repeat them. Uh, because that way it wouldn't be an insult to a halfway intelligent audience to listen to this shit. Whatever it may be, I leave the house, take Twinkie out. 
take the house for what? Every time you've been telling us that you had an appointment, it was a video call. You put on makeup, but you didn't leave the house. Whatever, whatever. I get about 3,000 steps a day, but I like to push it to 4,000. Um, I don't buy it. I like to start off slow with my goals. I don't want to just be like, yeah, let's do 10,000. Not. Yeah, after nine years, you don't, you don't, you take everything slow. Uh, as far as we can tell from watching you. Not gonna happen. So I get about 4,000 steps because I try. And people are like, how do you do that? What do you do? Like Who's asking questions like that? <laughs> I doubt anybody wants to know. I think she just wants to put it on out there that she's getting her steps in and I don't buy it. Like, I don't know if that's coming from like a good place or a bad place, but I kind of just want to explain to you. So right here, I have an island in my kitchen. <laughs> I like to to walk around my island a lot. Um, if I am watching YouTube or if I'm watching a show, I notice that around this time, there are so many shows that I watch, Thousand Pound Best Friends, which one of my friends is actually on that show. Hello, hello. I like to watch uh, Thousand Pound Sisters, uh, Family Vacation, Jersey Shore. We know you watch way too much stuff on your blue light devices that keep deteriorating your brain more. Uh, how about telling us what you do to actually get healthy and lose some weight? Uh, besides walking around, because we know you're not doing that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be out of breath sitting on your butt. I love watching 600 Pound Life and whatever it may be. Whatever I am watching, sometimes I will stand up and I will just walk in place. And I noticed for me, walking in place not only makes my heart beat faster, but I feel it more, I feel it in my muscles more, etc., etc. Another thing that I like to do is I like to walk from one end of the apartment to the other, and I'll just... Is this still a show for the French-speaking community? I doubt it, because last time um, I heard somebody talk about it, they've taken off. And so who is this show for now? For the weight loss clinic? Hmm. Let's do that. And I actually measured it one time and walking from one side to the apartment to the other one, it was like over 200 steps. And that was just one way. I do take small steps, so that could be why, but either way, um, I find it rather easy to get my steps in. And I know- I doubt that, but keep going. Notice that like just cleaning around the apartment, that's an easy 1500 steps a day. If you did it, but then you wouldn't be out of breath sitting here. Um, cause I do like to clean and things like that. Just because she got called out on having her ex-spouses do the household chores for her. Nay, 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 nay. You know, like going somewhere, make sure to park farther away from the entrance. That's like a really easy one to get your steps in. So yeah, you should try it. It really helps. I have an update on my ADHD. As you guys know, I, I feel like I have it. I am almost positive I have it. My psychiatrist thinks I have it. So um, she recommended me to get seen for that. And I was waiting for a phone call to be evaluated on the phone to even see if I should go to the further steps of being assessed, which are two completely different things. And I officially had the phone call to be evaluated and they said, yes, it does sound like you have it. So I'm on the schedule to be assessed, but it goes all the way up until like five months from now. I guess a lot of people think they have ADHD and it's very common, but I'm not gonna be seen to even be assessed for like another five months. So that is crazy. I was not expecting. Why is that crazy? And why does it make a difference? Because you want the result right away so that you have another disorder that you can throw around that but i know some of you have been asking about that so i wanted to let you guys know revolve thank you for the update dean i mean like my weight loss and like my way of eating and weight loss surgery and stuff there is going to be a big change that's happening and i'm sure i wish the changes would, would finally start happening because seeing her at the size that she still is and she seems to continue gaining weight it doesn't seem like anything is going in the right direction there's going to be a big part of you who, oh, I saw this coming, typical Amberlynn. There's going to be another part of you guys who are like, oh, okay, I get this, I understand. But I feel like it's only going to be a tiny, tiny bit. Who cares? Just, just come out with it. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of you guys. Um, some of you are probably going to be shocked. 
I'm not. <laughs> Absolutely shocked. Um, but I have to do what is right for me. So let me explain first. So I do officially have a dietitian. Um, to get weight loss surgery, you have to see a dietitian and you have to get approved by the dietitian to get weight loss surgery. So one thing that is very important when you go to get weight loss surgery, because you are literally changing your anatomy. You are changing like your hormones, the way your body works, um, your stomach, like it is being taken out. I mean, obviously they leave some stomach, but a lot is happening. Changes your whole anatomy and it's a big change, physically, mentally, all of it. Is she just now getting that? I wonder. So you have to be honest. You have to- Exactly. To be honest with everything. And seeing the dietitian and seeing the psychologist, I was very, very upfront and honest but you were also nervous prior to man the freeze frames. Uh, you were also very nervous prior to the appointments, and I distinctly remember saying that it's probably because she has lied before she's planning on lying again, and since she cannot remember her lies to save her life, um, she probably has anxiety about being found out that she's trying to lie about her own condition in order to make something happen, like let's say weight loss surgery. I have been diagnosed with binge eating in the past. By better help, and that was not an official diagnosis, and people explained it to you, and now you're repeating it again. And I was scared. I was so scared to say that, and obviously, because <laughs> if you were to binge, um, after weight loss surgery, you could get really sick. Um, uh, there has been people who have died because of it. Um, it's a very scary thing. So with the psychologist, um, he was able to see that I was past that stage of my life. And I was Past what stage? The stage of binge eating? Are you joking me right now? Okay, again, I'm not a healthcare professional. I'm only calling it as I see it from what I know and from what I've, you know, from, know from, from people that have talked to me about it or what I read and everything. And so I maintain that Amberlynn Reed does not suffer from binge eating disorder. What she suffers from is complete lack of self-control, self-discipline, and the understanding that she needs to lose weight. She wants the easy way out concerning everything. She is lazy, she's a glutton, um, and she, she kept mentioning over the years that she loves food and uh, she just likes to overeat. And so I think she's overeating on a daily basis because she has not learned any other ways to deal with emotions. And she has mentioned it a few weeks ago, and here we are again talking about the opposite, about her suffering from binge eating diagnosed with binge eating and uh, uh by the way but all of you guys know that I, th I think i'm preaching to the choir with her inability to not overeat she automatically she should disqualify for weight loss surgery because she needs to learn other ways to deal with her emotions with boredom with uh, with uh, a happiness with, with joy with sadness um you know how she explained in a in her ted talk a few videos ago um that she can sit with the discomfort apparently she still can't do it and uh let's just con let, let her continue um about a year ago and since then i have seen a psychologist for a year a lot has changed since then when it comes to like uh, my mentality and what I consider a binge and the whole thing. You guys have seen that firsthand. Um, yeah, because I've seen your channel go down the drain slowly but surely and you keep getting more and more desperate. And so weight loss surgery had to make its appearance on your channel again. I showed you guys a binge. I think it was in December and you guys were like, that's just a normal meal. So the way that I see binging, is very different than the standard binging. And that's been hard for me to like wrap my head around. Um, the psychologist said, you know, binging is eating three times what you normally would as a person, not what is a normal amount to eat as a person, but you 
what what is your normal and i don't do that <laughs> that i don't do i over no you overeat constantly there is no normal overeat sure but i never eat three times or four times the amount that i normally would eat the because for years let's say decades by now you've been overeating on the daily you do not eat normal portions this is how you gained over 250 pounds this whole be being diagnosed with binge eating has been very strange and i think it's hard and yeah because it never happened better help is not qualified to um diagnose anybody with anything confusing because think of it this way i am 500 pounds i have been 572 i have been almost 600 pounds you can't get that way unless you are eating large quantities of food is that just like massively overeating or is that binging for it is overeating on a permanent basis on a daily basis the normal person it looks like binging like when i watch 600 pound life and they show what they're eating i've never ate that much in one sitting and eaten you've never eaten this much in one sitting and that's not even true and they go they see doctor now a lot of them which are my favorite stories um they're successful and they lose the weight and in like two months three months they get the surgery i've never in my life ate that much in one sitting that's why i feel like the show exaggerates but if they're not exaggerating fine i'm sorry i don't mean to offend anybody it's i don't know why she's watching that show I, w I wonder what her reason is to watch it it's just confusing maybe to see people that are heavier than her because that's the only way she gets to see them i wonder and i find this part of my journey unfair let me explain why i have not what i consider binged i have not since somewhere in december this no 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 you're still overeating on the daily because we all know how many calories it takes for you to maintain your weight and you've been doing that and you've been gaining i mean at least maintaining at the least maintaining and uh gaining so you're still overeating on the daily whole uh january february we're fixing to be in march i have not ate in a eaten it is eaten a binging manner i have been doing really good i have been losing weight and no she has not been losing weight oh my god and not only have i been working on that aspect but i've been working on like my mental more and just my mental what my mental health my mental condition my mental what i've been actively choosing these coping mechanisms that my psychologist taught me all of last year like what give an example because we see you and you're not losing weight so what coping mechanism is it that you use that doesn't work for you and i had my dietitian appointment and she told me this is going to be hard to hear but if you are trying to get weight loss surgery this is within their program every program is different if you're trying to get weight loss surgery with this program you have to go a full year 365 days without one binge okay again the definition of the binge i think you know eating three times the normal amount that you would usually eat is uh, is bullshit that makes absolutely no sense and in her case they should say if you haven't overeaten in a in a year that's when we're gonna consider you for weight loss surgery because if she didn't overeat on the daily then she would lose weight automatically and that <laughs> it like broke me this is the second time i've seen this dietitian um i guess from this point forward um i'm gonna see the dietitian once a month and my next appointment's already scheduled so i've already seen her twice she said the improvements i'm making is amazing wait what she's already seen her once this was the second appointment so that dietitian sees that amber is not losing weight 
So, see, she can try to lie to us because she thinks we're just faceless people or a faceless crowd. And um, we're just, I don't know, I don't know, paying her bills. But she doesn't really put faces to her viewers. Um, she can sit in front of her camera and lie. But she can't sit in front of a nutritionist and lie. And she also cannot, cannot fake weigh-ins. And the nutritionist is going to weigh her. And so I don't know how she's going to get out of this one. And she's proud. And I'm going on the... What I meant to say, she can bullshit the audience. She thinks she can. She's not bullshitting us at all, but she's trying. Uh, but she can't bullshit the nutritionist that knows her current weight. The right direction, etc., etc. But she said, I cannot get weight loss surgery for a year. That's good. I, I actually, that is the part that actually restored my faith in the doctors in Kentucky. Because that other, which was it, the physician or whatever? No, the a, a psychiatrist um, recommending her for surgery is, what was he thinking? She's, li she's lying to herself. She she cannot, I, I think she might say similar things as she's trying to sell us, you know, that she's got everything under control. And if you look at her, she doesn't have things under control. So that's a lie. So one would have to find out why she uh, pretending that everything is okay and she's healed. Um, just in case that people from the clinic watch her videos, you know? I don't know. Or it's because her channel is on the downslope and uh, she's trying to make her audience believe that something is finally changing. I don't know. She cannot approve me for a year. And I immediately broke down and I have been so confused where I'm just like, do I want to share this with YouTube? Do I want to share with them the horribly emotionally just painful side? Um, I think you had no choice but to share that with us because you can't continue to clickbait weight loss surgery without getting it. To this? Do I want to put a mask on? Do I just want to seem nonchalant? Do I want to go into detail? Yeah, you can't afford those luxuries anymore because look at your views, girl. Look at your income. I have just been all over the place. And that is why it has taken me a little bit of time to share this because that tore me. Like, it it tore me. I'm you know, I was trying to understand it when she fir first said it this morning before work. Um, why was that such a surprise to her? She knew that a lot of work would have, or I, I think maybe she was aware of the fact that a lot of work and self-control has to go into losing weight and working on yourself prior to weight loss surgery. She had not put in the work. She had not lost the weight. I mean, that one pound deal is even something I don't understand. So she lost one pound, but she gained 20. Do you know what I'm saying? And so uh, she must have been aware of the fact that a lot of work would have to be done on her part prior to weight loss surgery. Why is it now a surprise that she has to put in the work before she can get weight loss surgery? I don't get it. In front of the dietitian. I, I couldn't control it. It was like, my insides exploded and I just, I cried. And it just felt like another obstacle. Obstacle. I want to know how delusional she has been about weight loss surgery up to this point. To say that. She did call it a tool for people that could not succeed in weight loss in any other way. Remember that? And I was wondering because weight loss surgery is not a tool. The realization that you have to stop overeating has to come first and actively working on your relationship with food. And so she must have really thought that she can just get the surgery and that's going to fix everything. And so everything she said in those TED Talks where she had healed everything food related, all of her problems, uh, was a lie. Another thing to just get in the way because I have been doing everything no you have not 
You have not even tried to lose weight, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting there looking the way you do. You would have lost a whole lot of uh, uh, weight already. Imagine she's been clickbaiting the weight loss surgery idea again this time around um, since December. This is the end of February and look at her. She seems to be getting bigger. And so, uh, no, she has not done everything. To get the surgery. I no, maybe the appointments, maybe the paperwork, but other than that, the most important thing was to lose weight and to change your attitude towards food or to learn ways to deal with emotions other than stuffing your face and you haven't done that yet. I have gotten people messaging me saying, how are you getting through this process so quickly? I've been doing this for months and I'm not even as far along as you. I because she lies on her channel. I have been just like, I wanted the surgery before summer. Without losing weight? That's kind of delusional. I did. Since I'm self-pay, that would have been manageable. But since I have been diagnosed with an eating disorder, it's not manageable and it's not possible. And why is she disappointed about that? I thought she was aware of how much work would have to go into everything before she's even considered for surgery. I hope the, the staff of the weight loss clinic is watching this because she's delusional. And it hurts and it just, it instantly put me in this like, weird headspace where I was just like, this isn't fair. How is this not fair when you're not losing weight? How is this not fair when you're still overeating on the daily? The doctors know if you weigh 540 pounds and you don't lose any weight or you just lose a couple of pounds and you're happy about that, you can pull these stunts on your YouTube channel uh, because there are some good-hearted people out there that still watch your videos on your channel, which by the way, I'm not one of them. Uh, but uh, you can't fool the doctors. They know what you're doing every day. I instantly thought of 600 pound life where these people, uh, this, this isn't me saying anything bad about anybody. And I have seriously sat here and I was like, should I even share my, my true feelings? This is just like what I'm going through. I've, I've sat here and I've been like, they're worse off. They eat way more than I do in one sitting. Why are they able to get the surgery? Because they eat less and they lose the weight that is required of them to be lost in a certain time frame. Why do we have to wait a year? Because the doctors are probably on to you that you are still overeating on the daily. It sucks. I think it's triggering and it brings up like past trauma for me where it just seems like no matter what I do, no matter what I try, there's... But you haven't tried and so there shouldn't be a reward for that, you know? It's always an obstacle and a roadblock. But you're putting that roadblock in your way by not doing what's necessary and that is losing weight. And last time this happened was when the psychologist said, you can't get surgery for like two years. And I, I was like, I, I, you know, and I didn't care as much then, not, not even remotely close to how much I care now. And I gave up, I gave up and it and you also told us that back then you didn't take it seriously and now you do and you don't you still don't just a lot of memories flooded and just failure 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 you're such a failure okay i actually feel bad saying this but she is a failure at weight loss and in, in life too but you you know but at weight loss she is definitely a failure and so the reward for continuing to fail couldn't have possibly been that she gets the surgery. I don't know what's going on in your uh, in in her head um, when she thinks of the surgery. Is it like she thinks, uh, okay, so I'm just gonna walk in there a week from now and they're gonna put me under and all my problems are solved? 
That's not it, girly. Just that kept popping in my head. And knowing that no matter how much work I do now. Yeah, but you're not doing work, girl. You're not. And we know it. And you actually, in some back part of your brain, you, got, you gotta know it too. This is just uh, delusional. It's not gonna matter. It would matter, but you're not putting in the work. You just want the reward. It's not gonna matter. I'll so you're gonna continue to overeat? Is that what you're telling us? The tests I did, doesn't matter. And Why? If, if, if you actually looked at it as a journey, as a weight loss surgery journey, and you're taking the first step by, let's say from today on, no more overeating, as often as you can help it, the weight would fly off and if you drank a lot of water and you did move a lot which you know you say you do but you don't um, but if you did all these things then the weight would come off and the doctors would actually see that you're serious about it and it just i don't know it's just like disheartening and it hurts and why how can it hurt because you thought that it's like what getting the surgery in a week from now and everything is just uh, peachy keen I feel myself wanting to slip into bad routine. I f like overeating more. Feel like I don't know what to do with myself. What do I do for this year? Learn new methods how to deal with these emotions. I I just feel like everything was just kind of ripped ripped away from me. What? None of this makes sense because she hasn't put any effort into losing weight. And if that's because I got my hopes up, fine, fine. But that's the only reason why I got my hopes up is because I was doing so well. But you were not, girl. You were not. In what way were you doing well? In putting on makeup or in the amount of hours you sit on your butt every day. What, in what way do you consider yourself having done well? I would be interested in knowing. I was doing so good. I was making the appointments. I was getting the tests done. I was putting the work in. Yeah, but that's the least you can do. And the work you did not put in. You were just doing the administrative work. You were going through the red tape, sure. But you did not do the main thing, and that is lose weight. I was exercising. I was losing weight. I was eating the right foods. I was doing no, 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 and no, and no, and no. In the stupid little rules, like take small sips, stop using straws, like. <sighs> so now it's already stupid. This is how motivated she was, which is not at all. I was doing it all and it left me. With even more weight than before. And that's probably what they're looking at feeling so proud like this is just in arm's reach and now i just feel like it's so far away yeah but it's a journey and if you really took it seriously you know you would be motivated to keep going and um, i've had to talk to the dietitian i've had to talk to feline i've had to talk to um people in my life who are close to me and i've had to talk to myself and really absorb like what do i do now Maybe lose weight? Maybe actually take it seriously? Because I think what made it so easy for me to stay on track and to eat how I was eating, because- Stay on track, she, she's not staying on track. She's gotta be able to see herself when she edits these videos. Because I felt like surgery was right around the corner. What? How could she possibly think that? How could she possibly think that? That's what I believed in my heart. That's what I felt. And since it's not like... But then, but if she watches these 600 pound show, show, you know, all these weight loss uh, shows, then she knows that a certain amount of weight has to be lost prior to be approved for surgery, right? How come she thought she gets to skip that step? I don't get it. Like, I just feel like everything came crumbling down. And I don't know how else to explain it besides, like, my mindset has changed. 
what from having a healthy relationship with food to not having one anymore be more specific best way to put it um i still want weight loss surgery absolutely and i would love to have it in a year from now yeah but you can have it in a year from the last time you over ate and while you're maintaining your weight and not gaining a uh, uh, losing significance amount of weight they know that you're still overeating so that year is going to get pushed more and more into the future the more often you overeat or the longer you overeat i just feel like it's something else i failed at because i you you did and then you lied about it on your channel and probably to the doctors too and they just compare the weight to <clears throat> The last time, last time you weighed in, and they see you're still overeating. So you can sit on your channel and tell us all about how you feel. Everything you haven't healed anything because you're still using food to self-soothe. I promised myself I would get it before the summer or even in the summer. I promised myself that, and I feel like I promised you guys that as well. That's clearly not happening, and. So what are you gonna do on your channel now to keep viewers from running away? Now there's just like such a big gap of time for me to just fail. There's so many days to fail. So many- What a way to look at it. Where did the TED talk, uh, Amber, go? What happened to her? Hours, so many minutes, so many seconds. And that scares me. So I've had to really absorb the situation and I know I know I know a lot of you are gonna be like she didn't even want the surgery and you know it's so crazy because I wanted the surgery so bad that that's all my channel has been yeah all talk and no action that's all my life has been even off of YouTube and still there are freaking haters out there who think I still don't want the surgery. Because you're not losing any weight, girl. Compare yourself, how you looked a couple of months ago and how you look now. Tell me if you look thinner than then. Because that's the, the body dysmorphia kicking in. It's mind blowing. <laughs> it's mind blowing. When I tell you I broke down, after that appointment, I had a fucking anxiety attack, like a full-fledged anxiety attack. Or just an emotional outburst because you were disappointed because you thought it would happen sooner. I get that, but it was delusional on your part to think that it would happen soon. <laughs> so you let yourself down by getting your hopes up, by having studied so much about uh, weight loss surgery as you claim to have, you would know that not losing any weight and just, you know, letting time pass by and having TED Talks on your channel is not gonna get you that surgery. I'm just, I don't know. I get it, I get it. Someone with a binge eating disorder can really hurt themselves after surgery. Not, there you go, talking about the binge eating disorder again. You were not diagnosed with binge eating disorder. That was by better help and they are not authorized to diagnose you. They cannot make a professional diagnosis. Point blank, period, okay? What what you do is overeat and you continue to do it and the doctors see that and so it is fair because they don't wanna put themselves at risk, you know it. Uh, they don't wanna get sued by you blowing your stomach or whatever thing they do to your stomach uh, because you overeat right after surgery because you haven't learned any other ways to deal with your emotions. It's just logical and you could have seen it coming. I get it. But I don't have issues binging. No, you overeat all the time, every day. Anymore. And I've never had those types of issues like eating three times the amount you normally would. I've never had that. And it just like, I don't know, it just sucks. No, it's different. I, it's, I really have a problem with that uh, uh, eating three times the amount you normally eat and that being called uh, uh, having a binge eating disorder. That is not correct. That girl has been overeating 
on the daily for decades now. And that is the problem, not any kind of binge eating disorder. I just feel kind of defeated. And I think I need to switch things up, switch my brain up a little bit. Um, we are not gonna be gaining weight. We're gonna keep losing because- Keep losing? No, let's start losing weight. That is the plan here. So I don't wanna explain what I'm gonna be doing. You guys will definitely see it in the next video. I really appreciate that because telling us about all these things you're gonna do and you never do them is just so useless. <sighs> a lot of people are gonna be mad at me. I'm not mad at you, I'm not even disappointed. I saw it coming and we all did. Ain't that right, guys? A, a lot of people are mad at me regardless. Who cares, just keep moving. So that's just something I'm gonna have to embrace and stay away from the comments, maybe. Yeah, and find another way or something else to clickbait because you are, your views are still going down. Stay away from online besides uploading. If it helps, go ahead. Because this is also something else I want to uh, talk about. So I have not had an upload schedule. I have like barely been uploading. It's bad. No, it's nice because every time you did show up, it was a TED talk and it was all lies and it was mind numbing. I know, um, but I'm starting to feel better. It's just, I feel like when it rains, it pours. Like that's how this last month has felt for me. Maybe even two months. Um, I just feel like I was focusing so hard on something and now it's just like, bleh. Well, maybe just mentally, but you didn't put any effort into it, just like you never do when it comes to weight loss. And this is a direct result of that. So it's just, I don't know, it's a lot. Um, but I am going to go back to uploading every other day. Yeah, I'm not going to react to her every other day. I know that already. And it's just going to be vlogs. Just Yeah. Uh, now I'm sure that I'm not gonna react to every one of her videos. So vloggity vloggity vlogs. I feel happiest doing that. Um, so that's what's gonna be happening. So I'm not sure when that's gonna start. It's probably gonna be like a few days from now. Um, but then when you guys see my next level, Amberlynn, learn how to speak before you- Or read books. Don't just hold them into the camera, but read books. It'll improve your communication skills. It'll expand your vocabulary. Film. <laughs> when you guys see my next video after this one, then that means, okay, every other day, you're gonna be getting content from me. So yeah. Uh, for how long? I gave her two weeks and then she'll drop that schedule again. Yeah, I'm gonna vlog today. That's when I'm gonna start vlogging. And we're just gonna go on. Lots of merchandise, lots of food hauls, maybe a torrid haul, or maybe mukbangs. I mean, I would appreciate that. I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't enjoy watching mukbangs at all. But that would be her being honest. A vloggity vlog journey, and yeah, but you're never leaving the house. That should be well, you know, like I said, limited to hauls and. Uh, I don't know, talking about books she doesn't read. I'm actually surprised I didn't cry in this video because I've been doing nothing but crying. Yeah, I bet. And with the title being I got bad news, I would have assumed she's gonna, you know, cry. I'm just, I feel like I'm mourning something. I don't know what I'm mourning, but I'm, I feel like I'm mourning something and it's a horrible feeling. I feel like there's a lot of people who are like, it's just a year. It's fine. It's not fine. And it's not just a year. It's a year from every time you overeat. Uh, every time you overeat, you're pushing that that appointment one year into the future. Maybe if you think of it this way, it's going to motivate you to not overeat anymore if you really want weight loss surgery. Because that gives me so much room to make a mistake. And I'm honest with health professionals. As much as people think that I'm not. I'm one of them. I am. I am very honest. And I doubt it. They're going to hear the true nitty gritty. If I feel that I've binged or like my version of binging. Whatever you call it, you overeat and you gain weight and you do not lose weight. And that is proof that you are not ready for weight loss surgery. That's all there is to it. I'm going to let them know. And that's going to restart the whole hundred. 
the beauty is that you don't have to let them know. They will put you on that scale every time. You won't be able to say, oh, I'm not going to weigh in, guys. You can't say that to the doctor. If you really want the weight loss surgery, you're going to have to do what they say. And part of that is weighing in. The whole hundred? What am I talking about? The whole year over. And that's scary because I'm in Berlin. I make mistakes. I mess up. I'm not perfect. And I don't know. It's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, I'm actually looking into getting a therapist. My dietitian actually gave me some therapists that she recommends. Well, maybe that therapist can work out with you why you feel the need to lie so much. Maybe... The underlying cause is the delusion in your head. Maybe they can figure that out. So I'm very happy about that. And I, I need to talk to someone <laughs> that's clear as ever. So Yeah, and it's not your YouTube audience because they are not interested anymore from the looks of things. So I'm going to start the whole therapy journey over and that's fine. It is what it is. Um, I'm still going to be working on myself. Even if I'm choosing to do something different currently, I'm still going to be working on myself to one day get weight loss surgery and... Doubt it. It's just crazy that this is how things went down. No, it's not. It was a logical consequence. You could have seen it coming. Listen to the TED Talk, Amber, and what she said, that made sense. You know, and putting in all the work and, you know, water and steps and I don't know what. Um, but not losing any weight and not making any changes and expecting to get weight loss surgery. That was kind of delusional. <sighs> Jeez. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. So I'm going to go and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be a vlog. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. Yeah, I doubt it because I doubt that I'm gonna watch vloggedy vlog poos. So there we have it, folks. She finally had to admit weight loss surgery is not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, I feel that she's still gonna continue to clickbait it, only she won't be able to do it as frequently as she has been. Uh, because now the limelight is back on her losing weight and not overeating. And you already heard it in this video, she feels defeated and uh, uh, she's disappointed. And so how does Amber react when she has that emotion? Um, so um, I'm going to say I'm out when it comes to vlogs. I'm not going to react to her holding merchandise into the camera and uh, giggling and screeching and stuff like that. Uh, but if she, if she talks about something that I have anything to say about, I will react to it maybe even you know just two parts of it and so um yeah there we have it i'm glad it's over i'm glad she has taken the pressure off of herself by making this video by letting the audience know uh weight loss surgery is not going to happen anytime soon um i'm predicting she's going to gain weight uh because she won't continue because she is disappointed and it's a blow to her ego and she's been in her eyes denied something that she was entitled to uh, getting and so yeah the delusion is still strong and so let's see what it does to her views when she goes back to vlogging and lying and holding merchandise into the camera let me know what you guys think uh we i mean we all saw it coming and so it's not a big surprise um yeah, let, let me know your thoughts on the whole thing. This is all I got for today. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you soon. Bye.